The function DFP gives the number of items that will be demanded when the price is P. The production cost, C of X, is the cost of producing X items. To determine the cost of production, when the price is six, what would you do? You would do which of the following? So first off, this is a multiple choice question. Okay, now basically what is similar and what is different between A through D? Well, we have to use this six somewhere, right? And what did they tell us was the six? The six was the price, actual money, all right? So the six is representing as a dollar amount. Six dollars, it's a price, right? So we need to plug in this six into one of these functions and only one of them would work properly. Are we going to plug in this six for the D function? Or are we going to plug in this six for the C function? Basically saying, would I plug in the six for a P? So this would be like D of six, or would I plug in this six for the C function in which uh, this, C, this six would equal X? Well, let's see. One of them is the answer. The question is, which one is it? Okay, let's see. So we're saying in this first example that the six goes with the P. In the second example, we're saying that the six goes with the X. Now we just gotta find what's going on. We already said before that this six represents dollars. So let's see if the other end makes sense. P, they said, was the price. Oh, and looky here, six dollars, that's the price, right? So, you know, $6 equals a price as opposed to producing X items. Is a dollar amount the same as items? Which one makes sense? Yeah, this one, definitely, right? So this one is the one that we go with. These do not make sense. So that means that the six has to go with the D function. And it basically will get you your answer. Remember, the price of six is not going to be what this whole thing equals to. So you could automatically cancel C and D. So now you're down to A and B. And by what we just did, we know that the six goes into the D function. So this is the part that's correct. The six does not go with the C function. And then from there, do you see how this overall D function equals the number of items? And do you see how if we said C of D of six, this overall function equals the number of items? And what did C really equal? They told us that C equaled X. And what was X equal to? Oh, the number of items. Do you see how it all checks out? So basically this is just a units game where you just have to make sure that your units match. So that's it. So that's why it's B is the answer. So it's process of elimination, making sure that you know the units go with the right units. So watch out for the units that are in here. Watch out for the units that are in here and use the numbers that they give you to plug in for the, the right uh, function. But that's it, right? Um, and that's what we did here. You know, always use process of elimination. So we automatically got rid of C and D. And then from there, we just worked hard to find out A and B. And we did it, all right? So with that, word problems aren't so bad. I know a lot of students have a lot of trouble with word problems, but... I am here to help. So thank you so much for tuning in. We got tons more word problems coming your way. So stay tuned. If you're on the playlist, just let it run because there's word problems to come. All right. So I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Keep studying hard. Bye-bye.